on the Big Manistee River uh, today. We're going to be fishing um, primarily below High Bridge um, and above High Bridge. We put in at High Bridge and we'll be up and down. Um, primarily what we're doing today is floating spawn and beads, um, some jig and wax worms if we uh, get higher in the system. Um, I think today's April 4th and beautiful, beautiful morning and um, it's uh, it's chilly. I think the run is probably 10 days to two weeks behind uh, normal. Um, we had a, you know, with our late spring. Um, so we started downriver thinking we're gonna try to catch some fresh fish coming up. Um, and we may end the day up above trying to catch some of the winter fish that have migrated upstream to begin their spawning cycles. Um, water temperature still uh, chilly, 38, 39 degrees. So we're not gonna find many fish on gravel, um, but that's not really what we're after today. We're primarily bobber fishing and uh, trying to catch uh, migrate and steelhead coming up to do their thing. So that's what we're doing this morning. What we do is we fish with very, very long rods, anywhere from 11 to 14. Some guys even fish 15 feet rods. What that allows you to do is keep a lot of your line off the water um, and get really, really great natural drifts. Today we're fishing a center pin reel. Uh, we all are. Um, it allows you, it's basically a free spooling reel with no drag on it at all. Um, it just allows you to get really, really great natural drifts down the river here. Um, and these long rods, between the long rods, keep your line off the water and then the center pins with, with no drag. It's just a, it's basically a fly reel uh, with bearings and no drag that just free spools as you go down. So you can just get great natural really, really long drifts, uh, which is ideal for fishing this type of a river. Well, we've hooked our first one for the day here. It feels pretty nice. I'm trying to catch up to it right now. These center pins, you can make really long drifts. And uh, that one I probably hooked 100 feet down. A little bit out of reach, buddy. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful fish. I think that uh, things have definitely, we, we got off definitely a later spring, which has affected uh, the numbers of fish. I think I think there's still some, uh, quite a, I mean, here we sit the first week in April, and normally I would say uh, the southern Michigan rivers have peaked or are past peak at this point. The northern Michigan rivers are starting to peak or peaking, you know, over the next week to 10 days. This year, um, it seems like our southern Michigan rivers, uh, for the most part, be peaking right now. Um, and the northern Michigan rivers are just getting going um, real, real well, I think. So, I mean, it's definitely been uh, slower year than what I would say normally uh, it is for this time of the year. Um, normally it's, you know, it's, you know, you're, you're hitting 5, 10, 15 fish a day, you know, on, on your good days. And it's been a lot of three to five fish days for, for everybody that uh, kind of know what they're doing. So it's been tougher, but it's fun getting out here and trying and getting after them still. So um, I, I would say that's kind of where we're at with a run right now. Well, we got one. Put a bead on, and uh, that's what he first drift through there. My favorite bead color. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Chromer. Beautiful. Been a little slow this morning. Uh, beautiful day. Uh, getting a little bit of overcast. That might help the situation out a little bit. These fish are just starting to get here late this year. So. The morning bite was a little slow. We only landed two steelhead in about five hours of fishing. So we decided to take a quick break and make some lunch, hoping that the fish would turn on in the afternoon. Before we started fishing again, I asked Luke to walk me through his setup. As far as the, the 
pattern goes and, and what we do, um, and this, this, this is personal preference completely. Um, usually I run on the Big Man of Steve between a 15 and 20 gram flow. I'm fishing a Raven today, 15 gram. Um, and I put the I put mainline on my my center pin that's about 15 to 17 pounds, and I attach my bobber or my float directly to my mainline. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go to a shot line, um, which is here. That's 12 pound maximal. Um, and then I go down to another uh, leader line at the bottom here, which is eight pound cigar. Um, so the goal is this is a very very snaggy river for those people who haven't fished it or have fished it. They know that. Um, what you want to do when you get a snag, you just want to break your leader off so you're not losing bobbers and you're not having to retie shot lines all the time. Well, it's been a tough day, but we are slowly, slowly picking away at them. I think this is the fifth fish we've hooked out of here today, or fifth fish we've hooked, and 1.32 o'clock, so it's definitely been a lot slower than normal, but we're picking away at them. Good job. Yeah, all little clones. There's a lot of different spring fishing opportunities here in Michigan, but fishing for steelhead on a northern Michigan river is pretty tough to beat, and you'd be hard pressed to find Luke fishing for anything else. I've probably been steelhead fishing uh, since I can remember. Uh, there is a story floating around out there about uh, my dad, who's fishing with us today, uh, putting me in the boat with a baby carrier. Um, and uh, as, a, as a new dad uh, to, to two young kids, I can certainly recognize that uh, it's fun getting the little ones in the outdoors and getting them involved as soon as possible. So um, he, he had me in the boat, I think, uh, before I could even crawl. Um, so I grew up with it, really. Um, I love to steelhead fish. It's probably my favorite fish in the state to catch. Um, they tend to be very, very eager biters, um, so they bite really well. It's a long season. You can catch steelhead October all the way through uh, May. And then we do even have summer steelhead in the state of Michigan, which you can catch in the summer months. So you can kind of target them all year in the rivers and in the big lake. Um, very, very uh, aggressive, acrobatic type of fish. Um, they fight good. They fight very, very hard. Um, and they're just, they're an absolute blast to catch. Well, the day started out uh, with uh, Luke catching a nice fish right off the bat, then it slowed down, and then uh, John pulled one out, and then Luke got another one. I was kind of uh, last in line. I got the heat put on me, and finally I pulled one out. So I feel pretty good. Fishing's been slow, but hey, four fish on a slow day, I'll take that. Another Cromer. Nice. Nice. The afternoon bite turned out to be pretty good. We ended up landing five fish total on a beautiful April day in northern Michigan. Special thanks to Luke, John, and Rick for showing us all around the Big Manistee River.